Hi everyone, hi YouTube, hi Craps. Today I uh, want to show you a video about Gemini 25. I made a team la a long time ago with lights of Ophelia, but I never made a team for the stage 20 with fuel RGB. But now I can do it because I boosted my blue freya and with the A5 it seems that it's now a 100% win rate run for Gemini 20 and as you will see this is a very fast team. So let's go. The most difficult part in this uh, dungeon is the focus. So there, I uh, I also use my support with uh, resonance set. So as you noticed, uh, my Florence just died there. It's important, I think, to secure the, the fight because she will revive with the spell and she will put the increased damage taken again and also the uh, bonus attack buff on everyone. And there, uh, he has 391k, 52%, as, as you can see, she just deals around 20% damage. With the A5, because, uh, yeah, she will, she deals 20% tree damage of the target max healed and I think it allows you to secure the fight even if I'm I still have one more hit with the basic ability but it would not have been enough without uh, the A5 of Blue Freya I think it would not have been enough so like, let's make another and I will explain you slowly what happened. So first of all, Blue Freya will remove the um, the immunity buff of uh, the Gemini. This is a very important. This is the key to kill the Gemini and the first, uh, I mean, with a speed team at least. Um, because yeah, Gemini will uh, got the buff from the head and Blue Freya will trigger the special ability when an enemy receives positive effect, launch a counter attack with the special ability to deal 120% damage and she will remove all positive effects and apply a no positive effect on the boss. Um, the Gemini has some specific mechanic that yeah he will got extra bonus of uh, resistance for each negative effect on this arrow. It means I will give him some extra bonus uh, resistance when I will fight him because he has the debuff no positive effect. That's why it's very difficult to reach the stats, um, the focus stats on all your champ. I think to got it easily, you can reach your heroes. Ah, there. Uh, to the level 70, to got the focus, the third slot focus relic with as much. Um, extra focus on the ability that you need so it should be the the ultimate for all of this there 
the boss will focus, uh, the head of the boss will focus the target with the uh, highest current HP. It means Blue Freya takes the first hit and then Florence will take the second hit from the head and she will die to the boss. So if um, so you, you want Blue Freya to have the max hits, it's much more easy because she is level 70 with Fuel Book uh, in my team. So she will take the first hit and then the head, the second hit from the head will destroy Florence. She will have only 12k HP left and then she will die from the AOE of the boss. And you want her to die. There I revive Florence and she will put the ultimate, debuff ultimate, increase damage again. Okay, there I, I, I got some I resonance proc. So if I have some I resonance proc, so the boss will not even play. I will not even need to play in the last turn. So let's see another run. Uh, more difficult than this one. This one was pretty. This is why sometimes I don't recommend you to play with resonance, but in this, uh, for this stage, it will just uh, allow you to have some more fast run, but it will not uh, give you the possibility to fade. This is why I recommend you to play with the resonance tier for this specific chip. But if you deal too much damage, the only problem to, could, to use the resonance tier could be to uh, deal too much damage to the boss and then it's uh, possible that you run fade but I never had this uh, this situation yet and I don't think that I can have there you see I proc one time I proc two times so it means I got the resonance and there I uh, I think I if even if I have a full resonance proc it will not fail and even if I have a non resonance uh, run I don't think that it's gonna fail too so it seems to be the perfect team uh, at least for 100% who win rate it's pretty fast but it requires it requi requires a lot of uh, uh, stats at least for my Z team. I'm not 100% sure that with the um, because I noticed one uh, run uh, where the boss resisted to to the cures, so I got like 10% extra focus, but I'm not even sure that it will be enough with 230. Maybe I will swap uh, the resonance set or upgrade him to level 70 to get some yeah some uh, rig like that I will wait the next uh, level upgrade hero event to reach level 70 and then got some extra focus with this relic but it seems that maybe with 230 is enough that's why I still run in manual because I'm not sure that it's enough and that I will run in full auto. It's gonna be very fast. I am not sure that I need to play. Okay, I just need to make one hit. 
Perfekt. So it also works with uh, Muriel instead of uh, Florence. Sadly, I don't have Muriel, though, so I can't show you the team with Muriel. Uh, so I don't know about the Jerry Kermit. I'm not sure if this team or the Muriel team is uh, more easy. Which one is more easy to build? This one is, as I said, not easy. You also need to have very good gear on uh, Guan Yu. Mm, so I don't know about the, the Muriel team. I think it's similar. So this time I don't got that much uh, resonance proc. So if I don't have that much resonance proc, the boss will be around 60 percent. But it's still uh, okay. I still can kill the boss easily. Um, so this is going to be the last run for this video. It seems that 230 focus is enough. I'm not sure. I need to confirm it with like a 10 up run. Maybe even 20 or 30 because maybe I miss only 1% or 2%. So I will show you the stats, after this run I will show you the stats of all the champ. Okay, let's uh, see the start of the step. So, obviously, my one new is fuel book. I will save the gear. One new Gemini. Uh, so, let's see the stats. As much crit damage as possible. 100% crit rate, obviously. I use Warrior with rage uh, this is a decent gear uh, 
Yeah, this is the center you need. You also need, uh, if possible, crit damage relic and as much damage on uh, current HP. Some boost damage against dark units. The relic that uh, I use on this uh, champ is not good. You, if you want to optimize the damage of Guan Yu, you need that kind of uh, relic. Special ability, currents, maybe yeah, basic, basic because you will do a lot of damage on basic counter attack. Uh, yeah, it's, it helps because I think the the A5 is a counter attack. So I could upgrade this relic to deal much more damage. Current HP, current HP ultimate, current HP. And the last one, Spatial Ability, Current, okay, this one could be better too, but I think Current HP, Spatial Ability, I could try to upgrade this one, but uh, I don't have that much resource. Ultimate, Spatial Ability, maybe this one is better. Not good. Current HP. You need special ability, damage boosted, and as much current HP as possible. There. This one could be not bad. So as you can see, my relic are very useless. Uh, maybe I will swap for attack. Current HP. Yeah, I am not lucky for this one. I could maybe make the run even easier with some decent relic. But the most important is to use uh, so red set with whatever you can. If you can use, if you have decent warrior, it's the best set to use with rage for Guan Yu. Uh, you don't need to have focus on Guan Yu, obviously. You, for Entrace Freya, you want her to play after uh, Zetlin and Florence with as much focus as possible. You need a lot of focus there. I think 260 is the minimum. Then, you for Florence, she's the first to play, so. 260 focus is enough even for the second debuff I think it's enough and Zetlin this is where I got some problem it's about his focus I think 240 or 50 should be enough but as I told you I will just boost this guy to the level 70 and use this relic this relic and then is going to got uh, easily 30% or 20, 25% focus even without uh, maxing these relics and it should be enough to make the run very safe. So I hope you enjoyed to see this uh, video about Gemini 20. As you can see there are a lot of dark and light composition for this uh, boss but not that much full RGB, only this team with uh, Muriel and all the other team are just uh, the twins, uh, abusing of the twins and they have another rig. So I hope it will help you to have uh, the all the details of this RGB team for Gemini 20. Yeah, obviously you will need to invest a lot for farm this dungeon. But if you don't have A A5 on uh, Blue Freya, maybe with very good gear you could farm the stage 20. But obviously you will be able to farm the stage 19 with this team, and you will farm it very easily because stage. 19 requires so less stats than the stage 20. 
So bye bye everyone, I hope to see you soon for another video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope you still enjoy to play this game. Bye bye.